If you guys are going to TwitchCon, you guys see me, walk up to me, start talking to me. Be like, hey, what's up, Joel's Big fan. I love your coaching content. I love your chamber cosplay. Can I get a picture? And I'd be like, hell no, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking peasant. <laughs> get the hell away from me. <laughs> no, of course, I'd love to. My name's Joel's. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hello? Hello. What's up? What's up? Hello. So what's up? Nothing much. If you can, send me your track review too. We can take a quick look at that. See what's going on there. Okay, currently Diamond 1. She 34 kill loss. Or 34. Oh my yeah. goodness. 27 kill. Yeah, these are tough. These are yeah. honestly tough. The first few I uh I played with the duo. For some reason, I just do way better solo queuing. And way better solo queuing on Reyna. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed the same yeah. thing. I think I, I tried to boil it down. Like, why is that the case? Like, why do I always do better when I solo queue? I realized that there's like less like sort of stimulation than I need to give to someone i don't know how to explain it but like when i'm duoing i feel like i have to talk to them and like get to talking and then i get a little bit distracted right. and then it kind of affects the way that i play but when you're solo queuing you just you know you don't have to talk to anyone you yeah, just calm what's head. necessary yeah and you just focus that's on true. the game I, I don't know if that's the same with everybody but that's something that i noticed personally yeah let's so we can look at last stack let's see what happened all right your stats are very good did you come from this isn't your first fps there's no way right i played overwatch a little bit not enough to like get super good and this is the first fps that i've like tried to improve at really okay yeah so 184 damage for rounds this is everything about this is very good um, that i'm most proud of is the ascent win rate last episode oh 100 yeah. undefeated on ascent yep. holy we're not gonna talk about fracture though but yeah no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> well, free changes free changes it doesn't count. true 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 yeah reina did get buffed though so that's exciting you've just been playing like reina right like always insta locking her i last episode i like yeah got super into breach and one tricked him but i've found the most success just playing reina and here's the thing a lot of people like to bash on reina i think she's a really good agent actually don't shy away from playing her especially if you have fun playing her right? if you yeah. enjoy playing her keep playing her i play reina i'm still playing reina on the main account <laughs> and i'm i still have like 58 percent win rate on her and i'm like Sheesh. 400 something rr in immortal 3 so it's like she's very viable so don't let anyone discourage you from from getting off of her okay i'm excited to see so you can share your screen and um let's get into it let's see see what it looks like so sheriff crosshair placement is good watch the flash i like this a lot actually Play. Yep. And we take fights, right? We're overhealed. So this is actually okay to hold. And we have the sheriff. So we actually want to do this. Enemy spotted B. Great comps. I like this. Let's go. Good round. Good round. I like that. Crosshair placement. How long have you been playing? A little while. I started like actually focusing on the game a few episodes ago, like episode beginning of episode four. Okay. Wow. But yeah. I, I mean, I played Overwatch for a little while, but granted, crosshair placement isn't super important in that game. But... Yeah. Yeah. Peaks are great. Crosshair placement is great. That hit me. So I'm gonna use your love. There's a hole in it. Yeah, so we're scared. Things. Yeah, we're scared of uh, another person being up close with Shorty and us dying as we push in, right? Nah, risky. this is risky. I'm gonna work up our. Right. It's okay. I don't mind taking this risk. You're Reyna. You're one flower. Maybe it's you too as well, no? Could be. I'm gonna be a little rat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Shut him down. Feeling sight. Launching smoke. Pillar, pillar. And close right, no? Am I tripping? <sighs> that was a waste. Oh, you're good. One still home. Good round. That was a big one. Thank you. Very good aim. Very good aim. Very good aim. Very good crosshair placement. How is this diamond? I I'm genuinely this is this is gonna be good. Uh, how much money does the enemy have? Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's something that we need to start doing, right? I don't think we push this on a slow. It's very risky. We also pop our ult here. 
us involved doing that. Yeah. Where is everyone hiding? Look at all. Smoke's down. Ooh, really? Ooh. So one thing I probably would have done this round, I know that they're on a sh shit eco, but I probably would have popped their ults anyway. I feel okay. like with Reyna, it's like if whenever you have it, you have a gun in your hands, I'm just using it. Sure. Yeah, I just feel like probably you get a lot of value out of it. Yeah, I mean, you never know, right? You shoot faster, it puts a lot of pressure on them. So yeah, I would do that. Another thing too, always, always, always check before the round, like how much money do they have? Are they saving? If they are saving or they're on a, like a loose buy like this, you play the round differently, right? You avoid yeah. close angles, you you do that kind of stuff. So it is a whole different round when you know this, this kind of stuff. But other than that, so, so far really good. Good kill. I think, so we are taking a lot of space, but sometimes I feel like it might be unneeded. Like this, I wouldn't have peaked that. I think it's a bit of an overheating issue. Sometimes it's okay to take space, but sometimes I think it's a bit too risky. Did they just link? What happened as well? I was in a shit spot right there. I should have- Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a, some positioning mistakes here. Um, Definitely. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. You hit some good shots, but I think it's a little bit of an overheating thing. Sometimes it's good to take space, but sometimes I feel like, you know, you're hitting your shots. You're like, okay, I'm going for more. I'm going for more. I'm about to pop yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, because then you have to watch your teammates clutch, right? And that's painful sometimes, so. Yeah, indeed. You want to be the one clutching. Mm, that's too far. It's, it, it's a flaw in the smoke. Brim shouldn't have smoked that, right? Pretty right. Or water-ish. We're in a, such a bad spot. Stands here as well. Behind me. Get me out of here. Nice, nice. Hopefully they ping you the bomb. <laughs> no! Oh, I saw the vision. Yeah. Dude, so you have really good aim and very good flicks. Everything mechanically, you're doing very well. I was a little bit nervous at the positioning that we had there. We yeah. were exposed from backside, we were exposed from plants, and we we're kind of exposed from um, thing. But after you get the pick, you, you, the repositions were good, right? After you got the kill on the jet, you went back towards main. That was good. Everything there was good. I think it's our initial uh, our initial positioning after we take site sure. is where we're lacking a little bit. But it's a great round. That was a very good round. Thank I'm you. glad that you yeah. popped your ult too. The thing that I try to get the most on me is just scaling as much as possible into the site. Cause yeah. If we just like lollygag, it helps nobody. Right, right. No, that's true. That's true. Wait, oh, I got that's much of just That's there. unfortunate. Yeah. Don't worry about it. That's also a mistake too, right? Where it's like people just go in the site and they just immediately fall off and then go back towards A main. And you can't do that in a 5v5. Like yeah. you, you can't give them all that kind of control and space. It's a fine line, right? It's more of like, you know, when do I play passive? When do I play aggressive? Yeah. Um, and it's I, always I can, good to scale, but... I just need to know when the the balance of am I overextending? And... Yeah, 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 absolutely. And what you should be getting control of? Yeah, I, I'll go into like further detail, of course, after this game. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's a it's a good problem to have though. Oh, that was timing. <sighs> yeah, that's Not that's unfortunate. Right, 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 right. We uh. Yeah, we got timing with our cross placement there, but I would say like, I like the lurk. I I, I think lurking is, is perfectly fine to do it. I think that we were a little bit early though. Like our team wasn't really pushed into, sure. into B yet for us to have that timing yet. So That's I probably would have just held a little bit longer, wait for our teammates okay. to start making a lot more noise. And then after that, uh, I would have pushed up. The idea with the lurk is like, we need to let our team heavy distract us. Right, we can't be the point of focus. Exactly, we can't be the first point of contact. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, still be like... Mid now I'd walk up. Now I'd walk up. Yep. You have a timing now. I think he might look here again, but you might be able to make it through the, through here. Good old. Good. Dismiss for the info. Back hall. Nice. Where? Where's the bomb? This is scary as fuck. Oh. oh, 
It was a good try. It was a good try. Uh, I was a bit after we get the kill in the chamber. I probably you have to find a way to either probably would have went like Last back halls or something or, or somewhere where you can start to isolate angles. I feel yeah. like we're, we're very exposed there. You know what I mean? Even though the smoke drops, it's like we're exposed from like long heaven link back halls. You don't know exactly yeah. where. What the hell? Spike down mid. I have this fight. Do we know both on B or? Oh. I think that was just unfortunate. I don't know what the comms yeah. were like, but yeah, whenever in situations like that, like it's always good to slow down, chill, mm -hmm. right? And just like hold something or maybe it's better to just slow it down and then you have time to kind of process exactly what just happened or, or what yeah. to do from there. Sometimes it's okay to speed up. Like I think that one round where you were flanking uh, when you came from Link and you killed the KO and then dismissed, that's fine to speed up there. But right. in situations like that where you get two and then there's two up and right. you don't get immediately traded, now it's like, okay, what do we do, right? Just on a clear advantage on our side. Yeah. Yeah, and then we just kind of slow it down, be a little bit more controlled, but it was still still really good shots, so. Ah! No, my oh, this was, is a good try. I, I, I the button faster than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks that you got uh, stalled there. In that situation, yeah, either we decide right away, we shoot the knife, and then we just go for a kill dismiss, mm -hmm. or we, we take the L, and then we just get... We just tuck, right? I, I probably would have went with that. I, I probably would have just tucked in the corner so, and just okay. let the knife hit you. Because the thing is with the knife, it won't tell them exactly where they True. are. They're going to think halls. exactly. And they would have assumed that you were Halls because you've been playing Halls. I think the play there was to definitely tuck and let them pass maybe. Or just go for, you know, one or two as they come up. But hopefully we got the... the suppress the silence or whatever it is yeah yeah i mean it was just it was just a little unfortunate but still it was good shots definitely i, I don't think anything is aim related whatsoever or mechanic wise that's for sure that you i'm not kidding you have very very good aim especially really? this being only diamond so and crosshair placement and peak so everything about it is is really good thank you no, it was refreshing. I'm not going to lie. That was very refreshing to see. Um, so I, I really think if you just play more games, listen, even without anything that I'm about to tell you, if you just play more games as you are, you're going sure. to get to at least Ascendant, if not Immortal, right? Yeah. Um, I've got a personal goal of getting Radiant by the end of the year, so. You got it. By the end of the year. Oh, that's going to be. I got it. could be. Bit. It's doable. No, it's going to be doable. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Like, usually I'm like, oh, that's, that's a far reach. But I see that. I really do see that. I'm not kidding. I'm curious about the journey so uh as you start ranking up please you know feel free to, to dm me and let me know because yeah. that's that's awesome okay let me let me share my screen and let me go into some some uh yeah. customs and and show you some stuff all right uh so a couple things that i wanted to go over so like i mentioned before it's mechanic wise that's not a problem now that shouldn't mean that oh i shouldn't be warming up because i'm so good at my aim you know like don't don't right. get uh, complacent on that yeah 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 so i would keep doing what you're doing aim wise but yeah so for the main focuses that i would i would look at it's our positioning after we take sight on attack side so this is our this is our biggest mistake it's like here's the idea like you in your mind you're like i need to scale up i need to take space it's good mm -hmm. it is good very good um habit to have and i would much rather somebody understand the idea of taking space and dying because they're doing it a little bit too much mm -hmm. than not doing it at all and then they won't they don't understand that balance right they, they'll never understand like oh what am i supposed to do because they don't do it right. enough you're doing well in the sense that like the idea is right to take space and get control the idea is that sometimes we're doing it in awkward times and we yeah. don't have the best timing to do that when is it a good time to do it and when is it a bad time to do it so let me just go over like exactly so there's one round where you guys got into sight here and then you get back here and you're like i want to take space but i don't know how this will smoke this will smoke and you're like well what the hell do i do and it's tough right but the reason for it being tough was because it was fundamentally flawed from the start brimstone should have not smoked this Brim oh, this see. is a this is a very bad smoke i mean yes it gets you into sight but it's bad in the sense that like if you smoke this you cannot contest it right. because it's there's too many angles right they get the player on the smoke they get to play in the smoke there's so many things that they can do so it's hard to kind of push in a smoke like this to get control so by looking at the smokes before taking a sight if they do do this where you're like oh they smoke like this uh okay just like that in my mind i'm like oh 
we, we we can clear back site, sure. After this is clear, it's like I'm fighting for this area, right? It basically just taking off or taking control of art just like this. But the idea is you need control of something. And this yeah. goes for every map. This is more of a fundamental thing for every map. It's like, okay, we either get back alley control, back all control, whatever this is called. I forgot this too. Secret. You either get secret control or you get uh, flower. So either get flower control, you either get secret control or you get art control. You have That's to true. get something right. because if you don't, everyone 5v5, you fall off. Oh, it's it's ugly. Back. They have sight back, and it's very hard to defend in a 5v5. Now, if it yeah. was a 2v2, the play to go A main and play off A main is perfectly okay. You can oh, do yeah. this on a 2v2. But if the, there's too many numbers up, we can't give them this much control. So you have to fight a little bit on sight. Uh, and the right. best thing is to take control. Now, if we see our smokes getting dropped like this, in my mind, I'm like, okay, we will just do whatever's left, and we'll take our control. And then you, right. you and your teammate, this is something you'd communicate with your team. Hey, guys, let's fight for art. Someone come with me. Let's fight art. And then you just wait for someone, right? Someone's coming up. They come. And then you guys just kind of push, take control like this. After you get control, boom, one person just like maybe chills here. Another person chills back here. You guys have a crossfire. You know, you're peeking and chilling. And this round is a wrap, right? It's very hard right. for them to win this now. So, and that's all because of control. Now, let's say that they decide to smoke this and then they smoke flower. And now it's like, oh, okay, we have to take back. We have to take uh, secret control here. Yeah, there's a really clearly defined path yeah. of least resistance. In exactly, exactly. And it's more just like, you know, I would, I would clear like this, like this. And then now we worry about, you know, these angles. And right. now we have boom and just like this we have seeking control So you have to take something if, right. Especially if there's a lot of numbers up like if they decide to start playing retake we have to take control We cannot just like we have site They give a site for free cool and then we just dip back to main you're, you're griefing They're gonna smoke you yeah. off. They're gonna tap you guys are not you're playing in their court now rather than right. the other way around so it's all about just taking control and some things are a lot harder to take control so like what what would be hard well if they smoke this and smoke yeah. art and then they leave flower open taking flower control is risky yeah. um it, this is i i wouldn't do this it's like I, I would pick one of my poisons and be like okay it's we're really pushing the smoke here yeah. in, in in secret or we're gonna push the smoke here in art probably art i think art makes more sense here so i'd yeah. probably do that but and some maps are like this where some things are just not plausible right so a good example right. of this would be ascent ascent a site right there's there's three chokes you have heaven you have tree and then you have a main right for this yeah. for the a site control you need at least one and you can push for two maybe depending on how you got into the site getting heaven control is not realistic that's not going to happen right getting right. getting heaven control after you push an a site that's very very <laughs> unlikely that that ever happens so some things are automatically off the table and that's because of rotations and how easy it is for them to retake it now right. based off of that okay we understand that now we have to make sure we have at least a main control so after we push into sight one person need to, needs to immediately fall off and then you know sit and start watching the flanks so then they can continue having this control because nothing more sucks than you guys get into sight a person's flanking and then this guy runs back late to try and watch a main he gets picked off boom just like this they have all the control if they have all right. four choke point control and you guys are all stuck in sight done. it's it's done that's a wrap just by positioning alone you guys are not winning this round there's too many angles to watch and not only that but because you don't have control of one thing means that you're limited on the mobility of of right. your position so there's some things that you just can't do at all exactly so so what do i mean by this is like if we don't have our control and a main control i can't do this angle i, I can't take yeah. this fight I, this is so risky this is such a risky fight because i'm fully exposed from art you know what i mean like they're yeah. gonna come around the corner and, and one tap me um so i'm stuck tucking like this i'm yeah. stuck just chilling and it's ugly so the more control that you have the more benefits that it brings to your team indirectly that you're not even going to notice you're just going to be like oh we have our control and a main control oh i'm going to get myself in a really cheeky angle mm. like maybe I, I might i might hold this right i might just do right. something like this or i don't know you, you can get yourself in like a spot where they're not even going to expect you or like let's say you have all of back sight control here you have flower and and you have secret and you know that they're coming art we can get up here you know what i'm saying like right. we can we can afford to get up here because uh, advantage. exactly exactly and that's something that a lot of people kind of struggle with is either getting the controller or taking advantage of the control that they do have so it's a very important thing but um this is more higher end uh thinking right. theoretical. and theoretical yeah this this is stuff that i would really talk to you about like uh, a mortal 3 player but yeah. I, I think that you're picking up this game very well um and i really think you can you definitely can hit radiant i'm not kidding so appreciate it thank you yeah uh that's why i'm, I'm kind of just diving into some of this stuff w that was a really good one I, I actually really like that that was really good great guy very great if you're interested in coaching yourself click the link in the description 
click the book a lesson button and select your planning time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.